Hello there, and welcome back to Bill with the Boys. Did you miss me? I've missed you. Um, I've not been well. Um, I got COVID. So it's been a while. It's been like 10 days since we did anything. Um, it, it's really kicked my ass. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm still not right now. Um, I'm testing negative, but I um, this is the worst I've had. It's the third time I've had it, believe it or not. Um, and... Um, this is bad. This time around has been really bad. Like, I'm tired all the time. I'm, I'm having trouble keeping my eyes open. It's, it sucked, basically. So, <laughs> what was funny was I was in the middle of doing Titanic when it sort of fully kicked in. So, if you watch 121, which is up on the channel, you can see I'm not right. You can see I'm kind of hot and sweaty. Um, I was doing 122. I've done 122. I just haven't filmed the end. Now, 122 um, is is tough. Right, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's um there's a lot of awkward screws that go into it in Titanic 122. Um the best advice I can give you, or I want to give you something before I can get the video up. Um take your davits off, take anything you didn't glue down off, right? That would be my advice because it's ridiculous that I don't understand why we put all those davits on if we're now gonna start flipping this thing over and want not to put screws into it. That makes zero sense. Those davits really didn't need to go on. So if you are uh, one of those people that haven't started your build yet, don't put anything on the deck, right? Seriously, don't put any davits or funnels or any of that stuff on the deck. Just don't. You can wait until you get to 122, then put it all on after. That would make so much more sense. So just, it's such a bizarre way of doing things. I have no idea why they chose to do it that way. Um, it is a nightmare. So when you put the uh, the boat deck on, you got to flip the whole thing over. Then you have to get right through with the screws and screw them in place. It's a bad design. That's that's what I love the, the Titanic build, but for me, it's a bad design because the simpler way to have done this would have been to have not put the decks on. Had some screw holes in the top, screw it from the top, then lay the decks over the screws. Would that not have been easier? Would that not have been simpler? Little plugs that go into the screw holes like we have with R2-D2, then lay the deck. Ta-da! Instead, you've got to kind of get it to line up and fit into these holes and it's quite an ill fit then flip it over then screw it in now all admittedly i did this about three or four times and as i was doing it i was ill and i was getting hotter and hotter and hotter and i thought christ this isn't good got it done finished it finished the job happy about that but then i'm like right now to be ill and i i kind of went downstairs and then the next thing i know it was it was a day later i would just i went delirious it was horrible um so i had full-on um fever and sickness and it just it wasn't good man it really wasn't i was i was in a hell of a state um yeah it wasn't good one good but you know what we're we're past it now so it's it's uh it's where it is and we are slowly coming back i mean i'm tired now i'm tired as hell and i'm fatigued but um i i don't know i, I feel like i need to just get on with it that's the way it is because i've no idea how long this is going to last so um, I haven't filmed the end of that one. I've not filmed the end of 122. I haven't um, filmed the end of... Uh, well, I haven't filmed any of 123 or 124. Um, but they're not going to take long. 23 and 24 are going to take long. 122. I've literally just got to film the end. The end piece. So the actual build is done. I've just got to film the end, wrap around bit, and then that'll be up. So hopefully, hopefully, those will be up either tomorrow or Friday. Um, but it'll be... It'll be all right. It is what it is. Um, because the other thing that is happening is still happening. This is why I just kind of like tough it up, Scott, and go on with it. Uh, is we do still have a live build, live build on Saturday. So on Saturday, we are still doing a 100% still doing a live build, but we will be building Tortuga, uh, which is this one. That's Tortuga. And that'll be kicking off at 7 p.m. So 7 p.m. on Saturday. That's this Saturday, the 20th. Um, that will be going live on the channel and we'll be able to have some drinks, have some uh, have some builds, have some laughs. It'll be good. We're just going to take our time with it. If it's not done, well, we'll go live on the 21st as well. We'll go live on the Sunday night and we'll finish it off. We're going to get through as much as we can get through. Um, hopefully, we can do it all in one sitting. If we can't, we can. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll have a damn good try, you know. Um, so that's going to be fun. So you've still got time to get your Tortuga. If you want to get, if you haven't got one yet and you want to join in with us, well, I, I think you might be able to catch you in the Prime Day. Who knows? You might score a bargain. I'll put the link down below so you can grab yourself a Tortuga. You can get it on next day shipping. It'll be here in time for, for Saturday's live build. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. Join us, join us, join us, join us. It'll be good. Um, and then, as of Friday, I'm off. 
So I'm off for like 10 days. Can you believe it? 10 days. It's going to be so nice. Um, so I am pure models. That's what I'm doing for 10 days. That's that's all I'm doing. So not just models, editing. I've got so much stuff I need to edit. So I've got like three days where I plan on just editing so I can get everything edited and then start uploading onto the channel because it has been somewhat lax. So the Lancasters that I've done, I can edit up like those. Uh, the Disney Dolls is, is finished. It looks beautiful. Um, I will edit the last ones of those. I think it's like six. I'll look the last six of those, put those up on the channel. And then there'll be some new builds coming up as well. So uh, we are going uh, for a very piratey, Viking-y theme next week. So we have Tortuga, which will be going up uh, Saturday because it's the live build. But we have two others coming up. Uh, so the first one of those uh, is this one. So that is the Roker Dragon Boat. And I can't wait till that's the Viking Dragon Boat, the long boat. I am looking forward to that one. It's going to be good because that does things that for some reason they've not advertised. And I don't know why they didn't think to make it a big sort of advertising marketing push. But it does something that I think is going to look really good. Um, but tune in, you'll see what that one is. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one, I am. Um, and then the other one, and this has got a provisor to it. This has got something you're going to like attached to it. The other one, which we will have, it's definitely going to be up this weekend. Um, because, believe it or not, I'm 11 hours into this. I've been building this one, I'm 11 hours in. And it will be finished tonight. Um, but I'm 11 hours in. This is the one we're currently building. So that is the JM Bricklayer Viking House, and it is beautiful. You've got to take my word for this. It is absolutely stunning, and it's massive. So that comes in at just over 3,250 pieces. It's huge, right, really big. So that will be coming up, um, but not only will that be coming up, this is exciting news. I've got one to give away. So you can win one. Um, and I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that on the video. So when the video goes up of the um, uh, of the Viking house, you will be able to win one. I'll give you the details of how you can do that. It is a competition. It's not been around through YouTube because YouTube are very funny about how you run competitions. So if you're watching YouTube, and I know you are, I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> so it'll be, it'll be done over on the socials, but I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. So tune into the, the Viking House video, and you can win your own, and it is beautiful. Trust me, it's well worth winning. There is a slight downside to it, though, and I've got to tell you what that is. Unfortunately, the competition will only be open to viewers in the UK. The reason for that is it has batteries in it. So there's very strange rules about shipping batteries. So unfortunately, it's only open to uh, viewers in the UK. I am sorry, everyone else further afield, but it's the UK. So what we'll do, I mean, basically, I'll give you the idea, I'll have, tell you what you need to do to enter it, but there's only one way, only way we can pick a winner on Building with the Boys now, and it'll be like this. It's too much, that, isn't it? Those graphics and music are over the top. It, it, it's it's too much. But <laughs> it's, we'll be having a duck race. So you're about to win the very beautiful 3,300-piece 3, uh, Viking house um, here on Bourbon the Boys. Can't wait to do that as well. I can't wait to, to bring you that one. Uh, we have other builds coming up as well. So I still have marble runs to do when I don't feel like I'm dying and you can fry eggs on my chest. Marble runs will be done. I've also got, and again, this one is stunning. This turned up yesterday. So this arrived yesterday. Um, this will be built as well. This, be, this is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. But we'll be doing this one too. That is the Fun Hall Antique Centre. It's beautiful. So, 
Um, what that is, is that's their first modular building. So they are releasing modular buildings. It's a corner building as well. So what they'll do is well, they'll be releasing other buildings that they will link together, they will connect together. So you can make whole streets and towns, you can put which ones where you want them to go. But that's their first one, that's their first modular building. It is beautiful. You wait to the interior of that, the lighting effects, and ah, oh, can't wait. Really looking forward to it. I've not started that one yet, um, but I can't wait. That's gonna be going up very soon. Um, I've had uh, Infinity Gauntlet turn up, um, but there was a piece missing. So there was supposed to be five pieces delivered in each Infinity Gauntlet pack. Uh, this one only had four because they said they were missing one. So it would appear our kind of fun old shenanigans are still going. Look, it's no harm, no foul. It's no skin off my nose. It really isn't that we didn't get it this month. As long as next month it does turn up, um, I'm, I'm fine with it. It's what it is. Um, so I've got those now. Of the four that have arrived, I believe only three of them actually have any um, work. So issue, we should be up to issue 71. We've got to issue 70. Issue 70, you just get the piece. There's nothing to do with it. So uh, there's only three that require any kind of work. So it's light work. Um, but that'll be good. Speaking of fun hole, not fun hole, fan home. Speaking of fan home, um, they sent me out a survey. I don't know if anybody else, did anybody else get the survey? They sent me out a survey they were asking me about um different bits and pieces and whatnot and things they have coming up on the channel uh channel see this is the illness still kicking and things i've got coming up on their website the models they will have to buy so ones that sort of caught my attention was um it would appear they're doing the um world of warcraft uh figure that we showed a while back it would appear that they are now going ahead with that because it certainly was in all of the the things they were showing me um but then one that was really interesting was things they wanted to start adding to the um they were well they're asking my opinion you know how would you feel about this being on the fan home site and how would you feel about this and a lot of that just said no i don't really think it goes for me personally i think the fan home uh site should be the home of kind of pop culture and sort of geeky things and and you know movie and franchises like that i don't think you should start putting random cars on there you know what I mean? I think because that's what they were suggesting. You know, if we if we just put on like some here's a random sports car. No, it doesn't go with this deck. If it's from a movie, it's from a TV show, it's from a franchise. Absolutely. If it's not, no, don't put it on there. Um, that was my opinion. And then they were had a bunch of kids collections. I was like, nope. Again, I don't think it's the place for that. Keep it on the main Dear Gostini site. But they also wanted to move something onto there that they are offering on the Dear because Fan Home. If you don't know, I'm sure you do. But Fan Home is basically. Uh, the pop culture arm of Diagostini. They're the same company. Um, but one is um, almost exclusively kind of like Marvel and things like that, and Star Wars. Um, but they're, they're the same company. So what they offer on the Diagostini site is they offer uh, the Moomin House, similar to Disney Doll's House. It's, a, um, it's, it's the Moomin House. Now, I haven't touched that because <coughs> for me, the Moomin's are evil um, and scare the crap out of me. And the thought of having small moomins in my home is too unnerving. That's There's literally no way. Uh, because again, a lot of you are younger than me and you'll remember, moomins were lovely. No, 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 no. If you grew up in the 80s, the moomins were like hideous. They were like a bad acid trip. Um, so yeah, no, just there's too much trauma there for me. Um, but the other one, and I've mentioned this before, uh, that they showed, and it would appear they're having this one as well, um, is the Snoopy House. Now, if you haven't seen the Snoopy House, you can kind of see it in this picture. This is the picture from the server they sent me. So that's the Snoopy House. Now, before those of you that are currently going through Disney Doll's House with Jaws get too excited, it is not a doll's house, right? That's not what it is. It's it's nothing like the Disney doll's house. Um, it is. Um, it's nice. It's really nice. Um, but it's not a doll's house, right? So please don't think it's like the Disney doll's house because it isn't. Um, what it actually is, is it's the kennel, which is about so big. Um, and inside it are a bunch of dioramas, small scenes from different Peanuts cartoons. So it's got Charlie Brown trying to get the ball. It's got one of the... Um, the Christmas scene, it's got the Halloween scene, it's got lots. Now, what you can do is there are 
a lot of those little scenes are reversible, so there's a different scene on the back. So what you're going to get, the building's quite light on it. What you're actually going to get is you're going to get a lot of little figures of Snoopy and Charlie Brown and things like that. And they basically clip in and you, you create the scene, you create the room, you create the house and then bang and it goes. And then if you want to, you can take that one out, turn it around and change it. So you can have the scenes that you want. So they have ones of a lot of, I've seen them built in Japan. There's a lot of um, holiday scenes. So you, you could have sort of Easter and Halloween and Thanksgiving and things like that. And it, it's nice. I mean, that's the thing. It's, there's, there's, it's nice. It is a nice build. I mean, I'd, I'd like to build it. It's, but it's not, um, it's certainly not something that's screaming out to me. And I mean, I don't know <coughs> how big the Snoopy fan base is in, in, the, in the UK or Europe. I know it's massive in Japan. Snoopy is huge. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. There's There's been somewhat of a resurgence in Snoopy and Peanuts recently with the new um, Apple TV sort of comeback of it. But I don't know. And then the premium of it is you can see in that one as well, there's a massive Snoopy line on top of it. There was, there was like a big Snoopy that was part of the premium that you could get to go on top of it. It's perfectly nice. And if you are missing the doll's house, it might be sufficient. You know, you might like it. But that's that's. it would appear that they are going to be offering the uh, the Snoopy house because it's it's in their survey. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the news on that one. Um, other than that, I mean, it's a while till, I mean, Titanic, we're looking at about two weeks to the next set of Titanic turn up. That's the same for, um, come to me in a minute. That's the same for, uh, Lancaster Bomber. Um, and, uh, Batman, I want to say we're two weeks two weeks from Batman as well. So I've got nothing of the regulars turning up anytime soon, which means it gives me a beautiful time to catch up with all my uh, brick builds and wood builds and, and all the other different little bits and pieces that I'm doing. So that's going to be nice. So a lot of catch up needs to be plenty of time to edit so I can bring everything you're kind of chomping at the bit for. I'm sorry for delays. Uh, the other thing I've got, to, this is this is all on me and I'm pissed about this, but I sent out a bunch of these. Now, some of you received them, some of you didn't. Um, now the reason why is because I thought I could get away with the postage that I put on them and it turns out that some of them got through with no problem at all and some of them just had some very, I think what it is, is if a letter is over a certain thickness, they want double the postage on it. And if you can see, this is how they go out. If the metal piece folds behind this piece, it doubles the thickness, right? I, I think that's what's happened and it's like, can you, I mean, it's the same bloody thing, but that's what's happened. So. Those of you that have told me that um, you didn't get one, uh, it's okay. Uh, it's I, I've taken care of it, and as we explained, I've, I've sent out more, and I've doubled the postage, so you'll get them. If you get a letter saying <coughs> a letter's been sent to you, you have to pay the postage. Don't pay it; just just let it go, and um, it's fine. It's you, you'll have a replacement one coming. So I'm sorry for that. That's me trying to get away with it and not getting away with it, but more have been sent out, so. Yeah, that's it's, it's just bloody annoying. But like I said, that's now like double the thickness. So it's annoying, but it's what it is. Uh, the same lady that makes these, she's fantastic, uh, made another one as well. Now, if you've ever seen the horror movie The Witch, um, she made this one for a uh, like a gothic fair she was at, and it's uh, live deliciously. It's uh, it's the goat from The Witch. I absolutely love that one. I like to live deliciously. How good is that? She's so talented. Um, she's also made some um, uh, some hearts for Jack's boots. So Jack's wrestling boots, he's got little hearts on the side of them. She's a very, very talented lady. But um, yeah, don't worry. They're, uh, they'll be coming. I'll even... No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it because then I'll be, I'll be locked to it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. We've got so many cool things coming up. Um... There's, uh, I know Penny hates it when I do this, so if Penny's watching, I'm sorry, but I, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff coming that I'm not allowed to tell you about, but trust me, it's all good stuff. Um, there's some really, really fun things coming up, and I can't wait to show them to you. Um, we've got some book notes coming up. It's my birthday, so I've got, hopefully, hopefully... I've got some models coming for my birthday because I get the same thing every year. People go, well, I don't know what to get you. I'm like, I've literally got an Amazon list just loaded with models. Just just pick what you want from there, and I'm happy. And it's like, there's no, yeah, but I, no, 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 no. Just stick to the list. You'll be fine. 
but they'll always go, I don't know what to, you're so hard to buy for. Am I? Look around you. I mean, I'm so bloody easy to buy for. It, it's not even, it's not even funny. I'm, I'm the easiest person in the goddamn world to buy for. I appreciate everything I get and I've got interests in bloody everything. So, right, so I never get it. And I'm like, literally stick to the list. I've got, I've got a list of just models there. There's that many. I won't know which one it is. Pick one, send it to me. And, um, they go, oh, yeah, but I don't know. Like, oh. This is my mum does this. And I'm like, honestly, I'm like, it, it's just, mum, seriously, you asked for the list, I sent you the list, now you're saying I don't know what to get you. Something from the list. And it's like, it's that simple. And then my wife's the same. What should I get you? I've sent you the list, babe. Just, 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 pick, some, just pick some from the list. It's easy, isn't it? It's easy. But uh, I don't know. Is that always to have a surprise? It will be a surprise. It will be a surprise. I don't want a surprise where... What kind of surprise is that as well? Where it'd be like, look, I'm very appreciative of everything, but that's not a good surprise. So you know all those things you wanted, yeah? We didn't get you any of those. We got you something you didn't want. That's a surprise. It ain't a good surprise. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, we'll see. But that, that's what it is. I'm going to be 45 years old. Can you believe it? 45. Yeah, I know, because you're looking at me and you're thinking... I want to put you over 23, Scott, really. I'd, I'd say a push 24, but 45, my God. Yeah, 45 years old. I bought uh, Nevermind by Nirvana on vinyl the day it came out. That's how old I am. Uh, I took a date to see Jurassic Park when it first came out. That's how old I am. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm older than dirt. Uh, yeah, old. My kids make me laugh because they say things about, did they have mobile phones in your day? And I'm all doing my day. This is my bloody day. <laughs> it's like, did they in your day? This is my day. So, yeah, but as far as they're concerned, I'm a million years old. Uh, what I've been watching, we've been watching The Boys, and I've been absolutely loving it. So the finale of The Boys uh, is going to release at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and I'll be at work. <sighs> so I'll be watching that when I get home from work, but I've really, really enjoyed The Boys. It's been so good. Um, what else did I watch? I binged something whilst I was ill. But I was that delirious. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely binged something whilst I was ill as hell. Like, I have no memory. Oh, American Horror Stories. I watched American Horror Stories. It's hit and miss. Not the, not the main show. They've got the American Horror Story, which is one story for like 10 episodes. This is like individual stories. Kind of like a horror Twilight Zone. Um, some are good. Some are bloody terrible. Um, it's it's a mixed bag. If you're into kind of horror and short stories and whatnot, you'll enjoy it. But um, some are great. Some, as I said, some are some are not. Um, but it was fun. I like that. I enjoyed that. Uh, film wise, I've not really watched anything. I was going to take the kid to the uh, to the movies. We were going to go and watch um, uh, a Quiet Place Day One, but I've just not been well, so it's not happened. I am going to see Long Legs next week. Um, I've been told this is the scariest film ever, I'm like, which means it really isn't. Because whenever they say that, you know, it never is. But I'm going to see Long Legs next week. I'm looking forward to that. But um, yeah, it's it's been um, it, it's been it's been a whole thing. The illness. The, the worst thing about the illness, right, was uh, I pretty much missed the entirety of the semi final. Um, the England were in. I remember them coming out the pitch and very little else. Um, I remember it then being 3 a.m. Uh, I don't know if I watched it. I just was in a fever dream or I don't know. I don't know. But they didn't win. I mean, it's like, I think we knew. I mean, it's, as much as we're like, it's coming home. We, knew. we kind of know it isn't. It's coming home is an interesting one as well. I've got um, foreign friends that ask me what that means. What does it mean? What does it's coming home mean? Well, um, now, for some reason, it's been interpreted as, if we win it, it's coming home. But for those of you that aren't old enough to remember this, that's not what it meant at all. Um, so we hosted the Euro in 1996. So the lyrics of the song, It's Coming Home, meant that it's coming home to be hosted. That's what that meant, football's coming home. It, that's what it meant. It's, it's coming home to England where we'll be hosting it. That's, that's what that meant. It didn't mean we were going to win it. It's coming home. It's coming back to England for the host tournament. It was the first tournament we hosted in thirty years. That's what that was. Um, not that we were going to win it. So, it's coming home is just weird now. Now, now it means we're going to win it, and it's yeah. I, I don't know why I can't. I, this is weird. If they just a complete misinterpretation of what those lyrics were. It's coming home meant it because it was being held in England. So if you didn't know, now you know. Don't say I never learnt you nothing. Um. 
loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads come up on the channel. I know I said that the last time they got ill for 10 days, but I'm I'm sorry, it wasn't. <coughs> I'm still ill now. It wasn't intentional. Um, and I did want to, every single day of it, I wanted to, I'm going to go build. And I get about halfway up the stairs, but like, no, I'm not. I'm going to go lie on the sofa and, and, <laughs> and just drink. Ribena and Lucas Aiden vitamins and pray I get better. That that's that's what I did. So it was it was rough. It's been it's been real rough. And I mean I'm back at work now. But even that is tough. I mean it, it's it's hard everything. It really has just wiped me out this one. So the fatigue I'm feeling is is crazy. It's really bad. I mean I was tired anyway, and this is kind of seriously seriously up that but i've got a busy week i mean the kids it's jack's last day at primary school tomorrow he's in senior school uh in september so it's his last day at primary school so we've got an evening for that um it's it's a lot so i've got the first week of july off with the kids so we can we can do some stuff we won't just be model making and we're going on a couple of day trips and whatnot and it'll be nice it'll be fun um before we came on air, literally uh, about 10 minutes before I came to film, um, this was announced. Look at this. So that is the Goldfinger DB5. Um, it's lovely. It's really nice. I am slightly disappointed. That's the third um, Bond car from Agora. I'm a little bit disappointed there's another DB5. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's it's a nice one, and it's one that I think a lot of people really like. Um, but they've literally just done DB5. Now here's another DB5. That That's my... I was kind of hoping that... I'm, I'm glad they're doing the, gold, the Goldfinger DB5, but... I would have liked to have seen a few more come out before that one. Does that make sense? Because I think a lot of people that have just built the uh, No Time to Die DB5 probably won't want to immediately buy build another DB5. I appreciate they're very different cars, but I don't know. Um, I was I was kind of hoping to see something else. It's just I mean I, I'm glad it's here, but I I was kind of hoping that we'd get something wildly different than another DB5. But it's nice. I mean, the, the only thing that concerns me about it, and this is the thing, it's not the Eagle Moss one. So it's 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 a whole new build. It's not the Eagle Moss DB5 tired up. It's it's a whole new build. Um, the ejector seat bothers the hell out of me because no way would I be using that function for the simple reason that what goes up must come down. So you would have fired that ejector seat out and potentially drop a very heavy lump of whatever it is metal onto your lovely, shiny, pristine DB5 model. So unless you're willing to be there with like a net to catch that thing, it'll be interesting to see how they do it because I wouldn't want that to fire up and then come down and break the windscreen or scratch the hell out of the, the paintwork. So it, I'm, I'm hoping it's a function that you can disable. Do you know what I mean? Because again, I, I wouldn't want to just trigger it either. Because it's big. This is the thing. That's a, that's a big unit, right? And if you're leaning over that thing and it goes off, it's, mm, it, it hurts my teeth thinking about what could happen there. It's lovely. It's really nice. And again, I'm not trying to be... It's not derogatory. It's just I would have preferred to have seen a couple of others before we went back to a, a, a type of car we've already built. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Um, I want to see Zhao's... Um, Jaguar. I love that Jaguar. I think it's beautiful. Um, the, <laughs> I don't think we'll ever see the invisible uh, DB5. Uh, <laughs> literally. Um, but, it, it, I mean, I, I, I'd i like to have seen, again, Little Nelly. I kind of hope we would do see Little Nelly. Little Nelly was the, the little um, gyrocopter. I hope they do that. I genuinely hope they do that. It's nice. Um, I got into it with somebody just before I got ill as well. This is really weird. This is how this has all kind of come about. Um, last night on TV, The Spy Who Loved Me was on, which is a classic, featuring uh, Jaws. And Jaws has a girlfriend called, I want to say she's called Dolly. I'm sure she's called Dolly in Moonraker. Um, Moonraker's terrible. Moonraker's not a good Bond film. It's not. Um, Jaws is back in it. 
I think what's bad about it is Bond has always followed trends, right? So whatever was fashionable at the time, they inserted into a Bond movie. So at a time when the early 70s, when Kung Fu movies became a big hit, all of a sudden there's Kung Fu and Bond movies. Um, so Moonraker came out at a time when Star Wars, I think, had just been popular. So they were like, right, put Bond in space. That's the only way we can compete. So I'm sure Jaws's girlfriend is called Dolly. Now, I'm going to say something, and a bunch of you are going to go, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. I swear I'm not wrong. Um, there's a lot of people that believe that Dolly had braces. That there's a scene where they smile at each other and she's wearing braces. That never happened. That never happened. Dolly never had braces. She just didn't. Um, and there's a lot of people that have got this conspiracy about Mandela effects that... Uh, we're in an alternative universe and we're remembering things. Being we're not. She never had braces. I get why, because there have been plenty... That gag has been used in plenty of things where someone with braces has smiled at somebody and they've got braces. And it, it, But Dolly never did. Uh, but a lot of people seem to remember her as having braces, but she didn't. This is her in the movie. She ain't got braces. This is her. The actress herself even stated, "No, they never, they never did that." And I mean, it, it's it's weird, but that's it's one of those things that people kind of remember. But it's a false memory. It's a bit like uh, play it again, Sam. Do you know that's ne that line was never delivered in Casablanca. At no point does Humphrey Bogart ever say play it again, Sam. Doesn't doesn't do it. Um, never. Uh, the actual line is uh, play it, Sam. You played it for her, and I play it for me. That's what he says. He never says play it again, Sam. But Play it again, Sam, has been used in every single parody of that, which is why people think that's what the line is. And it's kind of similar to The Wizard of Oz. Um, fly, my princess, fly. Uh, what the, the Wicked Witch shouts at the um, uh, the fly monkeys. She never says it. Never says it. <laughs> she never says that. My pretties is what she refers to, uh, to Dorothy as. I'll get you, my pretty. Not the monkeys. So that's kind of where that that's come from, and the other one as well. This is gonna this is gonna fry your minds, right? If you've never heard this one, this is this. A lot of people are like no, and I'm like, well, not only is is this correct, but also, if you think about it, it's the only logical thing there is, right? Complete the lyrics, right? Hi ho, hi ho, it's. Now, if you've just said off to work we go, you're wrong. That is not the lyrics to Hi Ho, Hi Ho, and it never has been. Um, the lyrics to Hi Ho, Hi Ho are Hi Ho, Hi Ho. It's home from work we go. Because they sing it when they leave the mine, right? They don't sing it on the way to the mine. They sing it when they leave the mine. Hi Ho, and that's home time. And it's Hi Ho, Hi Ho. It's home from work we go. Those are the lyrics. But for some reason, everyone thinks it's off to work we go. It isn't. That's, that's never been the lyrics. If that is blowing your mind, it's just a collective false memory. It's just, it just happens. Um, but there is no, there's no shady conspiracy. There's another universe on top of this one. Because you'd like to think they'd change more important things, wouldn't you? Not the lyrics to a Disney song or, or a couple of lines from a movie, you know? But this is the way it is. But they're weird, but they're, they're true. Mandela effects, they're called. And again, even the even the name Mandela effect is a funny one because the reason why it's called Mandela effect is because a lot of people say they can remember being told Mandela had died in prison. Now, it's Americans that typically say this. I remember seeing a news report that Mandela died in prison. British people don't say that because we can remember seeing Mandela on bloody um, the gardening show and on all the other things and we had the concerts for him and the free Nelson Mandela and we can remember when he was freed and we remember everything. So, and then ask a, ask anyone from South Africa if they remember being told Mandela had died. No, it's only Americans that remember that because that's a false memory over there. So the actual name of the Mandela effect is in itself flawed. So that's, um, it's a weird one, but it, it's, it just happens, man. It's, it's a, it's a trippy kind of phenomena, but it's, it's just collective false memories. How weird. Again, don't say never learnt you nothing. Uh, we will be back with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Trust me, I promise you I'll be back <laughs> with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Um, it just won't be at the speed it normally is because I'm not, I'm not well.
But Titanic will be up as soon as I can just finish it off. Um, because again, I've just got to finish. I've got to literally finish the last five minutes of the, um, 122 and it'll be up on the channel. And then the other two are simple. Um, so those, those will be up soon as well. Um, I have to say a massive, 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 massive happy birthday to Corbin. Happy birthday, Corbin. He's 25 today. Top kid, Corbin. He really is. Um, happy birthday to you, sir. This is your first quarter century in the bag, mate. That's the first one done. I'm nearing towards my first half century, which makes me feel ancient, but happy birthday, mate. I hope you had a great one. Um, that's all from me. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for all your well wishes. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, it's so nice that um, you care. It just is. So it, it's lovely to hear. Um, it's really nice. In a world where you could be anything at all, now more than ever, with the climate of the world the way it is, just be nice. It really is that simple. It is not that bloody difficult to do. Just be nice. Even if you really, really don't want to be nice, just be nice. It just makes the world a better place. It really does. Take care, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.